The V5 CMM Planner is an integrated offline CMM programming software that works inside the CATIA V5 environment, just like other CATIA workbenches. The V5 CMM Planner is designed to simplify the MBD inspection process by taking full advantage of the CATIA feature tree and any local access systems in the CATIA model. The programmer will be able to work with embedded tolerance information seen in the MBD Dimension 3D model. The CMM Planner works inside a CAT product, which enables the programmer to work with a full assembly model or by having any tooling or fixturing included in the 3D model. By having the fixture included in a 3D model, the programmer will be able to place probe moves that will ensure a collision-free inspection plan. The programmer either copies or inserts the CAT part into the CAT product and starts the inspection planner from the drop-down CATIA available workbenches. The programmer can define the probe build that is on their CMM under Tool Options and can also set up any special posting details. The programmer starts a new plan by defining an inspection plan name, then picking the access system where the XYZ data will be derived from. They are also prompted to pick the axis that defines the relationship of the probe AB angles to the part axis system. The programmer can then define the starting tolerances based from embedded tolerance information in the CATIA MBD model. They can then define the probe approach and retract go to moves. This will guide the probe moves before and after each feature measurement. They can also define the probe approach and retract distance. We will start out by giving the program a starting point of 0, 0, 5. You may also wish to put comments in your program on going from one MBD feature type to the next. Placing comments during different feature groups in your program makes it easy to follow in reading the final CMM inspection report. In this example, the program will measure some of the holes that are located on datum A surface. The hole measurement strategy will be defined naming features, number of points to measure the hole, depth of hole inspections, and also the different ways a CMM will measure the hole, for example PT measure mode or auto mode. Next, we will measure KC points that were defined in the release CATIA model. This will show how points can be defined before using the inspection planner. The planner retains the original names defined in the CATIA tree. Next, we will perform a go-to move by picking a plane in CATIA. This is a very easy way to move the probe around the CATIA 3D model workspace. We will now place points along the edge or profile of the part. You can define the depth of the points and spacing of each point. Also, just like with holes, you are prompted to give these points a unique name. This is a very important part of MBD inspection. We will now add another go to move. Now we will show how easy it is to place points on any surface by just indicating where you want each point. 
You can change the colour and shape of each point to help show different features during the inspection plan. We will now place a grid of points on the angled surface by either picking two planes in Katia or by defining the planes by keying in the plane equations. The spacing can be equal or can have different spacing distance in both directions. In this example the spacing will be 1 inch going the long way of the surface and point to the smaller direction. We will need to move the probe over the part using the indicate on plane method. And then we will change the probe angle by simply selecting the surface to align the probe too. We will now place points on the vertical surface by selecting the engineering specified cut planes that were placed in the Katia model. This method makes it possible to place points on the exact section views defined. The first section is x equals 4 and then x equals 7. The program is now complete and it is time to simulate the probe path and post process. You can fully simulate and play back the posted Demus code that will run on your CMM. The trace of probe path will be shown during the playback. You will be able to post process to most CMM languages, including several Demus flavors, such as PC Demus, Open Demus, Virtual Demus, V Demus, Cameo Demus, Geo Demus, and Caps Demus. Included in the posted CMM code, we output an app source file that can be used with other NC MFG processes or other third party validation software that simulates app source and G code. You are currently viewing the final posted Demus code. You can also post G code for use with unmachine probing. To summarize, no translation is needed because you are working within the native Katia part. You are creating a CMM program offline and not tying up a CMM during programming process. You are able to work with embedded MBD information on any coordinate system in the Katia model. There is no hardware required to be replaced on your CMM as we post to your CMM language. No training because of changing out your CMM operating system. And finally, 
Because the CMM program is associated to the CATIA model, if there are any model changes, the CMM program is updated. For further information, please contact Adaptive Corporation.